are the SBS PV 16s worth it in the market today? What do you think? Huh? You know, I see. It seems like they're getting less popular now, huh? It does seem that way. PV 16. I mean, I don't. Don't they need to do a refresh on it, or maybe come? Maybe uh, here, let me. I don't know, man. I don't know what the price sometimes, is. Sometimes it's sometimes I wonder if SBS has like too right much. Now. Three thousand right now. Too many, too many options. Yeah. Maybe their maybe their lower options are almost uh, cannibal. They're just like they're just running right into each other. You know, like there's right. so, so many different options. Three grand. I guess it depends. Like if I had a, how much are the um three thousand SBs? SB. Uh. So so Tim just got some uh, monolith sixteen oh. uh, THX sixteens, right? Yeah, and he got a hernia, or he's getting one. <laughs> Those are going to be monsters for sure because I've reviewed the 13. You reviewed the 13. That thing was already huge. I hate that silver. What? I, I reviewed the 12. It was that was annoying. The 12 was, annoying. was, yeah, yeah, because yeah. it was yeah, so big. Thing, it was a they're, they're all great silver first. I just hated them from like having to move them around. It's like, oh, so look, you can get two of these for the same price as the one SB 16. So, wouldn't you want to have hmm. two subwoofers as opposed to just one? Yeah. I guess it depends on like how big your room is too. I think because yeah, Michael, since he switched to JTR, he's the only one slanging those. Oh yeah, he loved his mm-hmm. uh, PB sixteens. Yeah. No, I'm sure people with money still get like, hey, what's the best one? All right, let me get let me get. Uh, Christian says Monolith over SVS every day of the week. Oh, wow. Yeah, just how much is the the THX sixteen from Monolith? Because that one is twenty eight hundred, right? Yeah, the PB. 16. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Versus I just can't imagine when you're talking about. Yeah, 2299. Okay. Huh. So wasn't at it what just point on do sale? You need more than that. I, I don't understand like like okay. what kind of setup do you have where you need I'm not saying just, you know, let's say if you have a couple of these in what situation is that not good enough? A couple of those. I mean, I yeah. I think the probably PB P I had the PB 4000. I thought that was too much for my living room. I think the PB three thousand, dude. You got two of those. Yeah, know? yeah. Mm-hmm. One in the front, huh. one in the back. Who knows? Whatever. Side to side, front back, front uh, back, side to side. Repping H Town. Oh, uh, Andrew Jeffrey, is that clips reference Cinema Dolby Atmos five point one, but worth buying for four twenty nine? No, get the cheaper one that doesn't have the built in Atmos in the high channel in the fronts. Just buy mm-hmm. two. By two, so instead of paying four twenty nine, you're going to pay seven hundred bucks, but you'll have two subwoofers, ten speakers all together, and because you don't want to do the bouncy thing, that's what I would say. Yeah. Tim says that he got them for fifteen hundred open box. Yeah, you just got two of those. We were worried. We were like, are those going to fit in your elevator? You know, yeah, that's they're the not situation with those. But oh, they're so, so loud, he can just hook them up outside on the first floor and hear them all the way upstairs. Uh, Reverend Slim says, when I move my subs, I sing moving, just moving, <laughs> moving around your room. Oh, a little SACT. Aaron doesn't even know. He doesn't no, know that one. Yeah. That was a strike me. No. Have you, have you hooked your, uh, your AVR yet? Aaron? Me? No, I don't have any speakers to hook it up with. No. So. <sighs> no oh. speakers. I know it. I'm a letdown. How do you have no speakers? Because I don't have any yet. Like, even from the reviews, like, aren't there aren't there speakers kind of left? Uh, over that, I mean, they're not yeah. mine. I've got to send them back. Oh, you don't like, want to? I still got up. the yeah. I still got the SPS Prime. I've got the monitor audio. Like, I'm the only reason I'm still hanging on to them is because I got to do a video for them, and I just haven't done it yet. Mm. Okay. So, and I don't with the audio precision stuff. That's what I was want thought I was going to want to spend all my money. I mean, I thought I was about to cash out thirty grand on that stuff, but now I'm like, oh, I don't think I want to do that anymore. <clears throat> So Snooze says rhythmic FV18 over any of those all day. Rhythmic. Have yeah, you guys had those are the ones with the servo, right? I have. Yeah, I tested a rhythmic like 2012 or 2013 or something. It was a 12 inch, but it was good, man. It was good. So you're a believer in the servo? servo I don't know if I'm a believer in the servo, but it was a good subwoofer. Mm-hmm. The actual drive unit itself was a really good drive unit. Like I mean, I took that thing out and, and tested just the the raw driver, and mm. it was good. Dude, yeah. is this an eighteen inch subwoofer? An eighteen? It's FB eighteen, so. probably. 
18 inch ported audio file subwoofer, 900 watts RMS amplifier. Okay. Oh, it's an audio file subwoofer. Okay. Oh. It's audio it's all, it's it's all it's the difference it's, in the world. It, so the servo servo is interesting because I think it tries to put the cone where it's supposed to be, right? <laughs> is that kind of uh it Just tries to control the, the control the woofer? Yeah, some I don't know, man. I don't even remember. Dramatic boxy sound reduction of the re radiation of bass from inside the box. Is that what it's trying to do? Is that what the servo does? I don't remember anymore. From my understanding, so there's two ways to control the $2,200. Right? You want an 18 inch subwoofer? It's $2,200. That's okay. still less than the 16 inch SVS. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, that's not bad. Because you know how people talk about like how, uh, a subwoofer when it stops, it's supposed to just stop, right? And of course, mm -hmm. it has some inertia and it keeps moving. And moving the idea here. with this servo tech is supposed to like make it stop, right? It's fast, you know, it's quick. But I think a, a powerful amplifier will also do the same thing, right? Control the control the cone. Uh huh. If you have a, a good enough, strong enough amplifier all right here here let's take some let's take some because i've been thinking about this for a little bit let's take some votes from the chat i think i need a new subwoofer yeah yeah that's a, that's a yes <laughs> that's a yes what? okay what subwoofer you guys should i get all right so tell them what you have right now you have okay, i have the dual uh i have two rel 1508s okay so they're two 15 inch drivers 800 watts in each cabinet stacked one on top of the other. Yes, right? they're one on top of the other because <laughs> I, right. I need something space saving, right? Space saving. If you right, got a smaller a sub, would you be able to place it in a different location? Not no, stacked? not really. No, there's no other option. <sighs> I mean, it could, but like somewhere near the couch, anywhere. No. Saw it. Did I put one by the? No, I can't put one by the couch. Under a table or something? I don't know. Under a table? No, no, no. Our 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 um, end tables <laughs> have like layers it's like a, <laughs> oh look so uh megatron's arm can it's a dual bic h100s of course what is that the bix right aaron aaron's not paying attention i'm sorry i was not paying attention bix look oh he, yeah he has a recommendation the, the dual bic of course no of course he does the best subs ever made i think the, the worst subs ever made there it is. Three hundred dollars each. Anything made by a pencil company is not going to be a good subwoofer. <laughs> <laughs> pencil company. Oh, oh, acoustic. Did they change that up? What? Oh, okay. look at that. Look, look at look. I'll I'll uh, get to F eighteen from rhythmic. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Look. Uh, you know what Croson says about your your uh, your rels. What did he say? Dual fifteens. <laughs> they go to down to like yeah hours. right <laughs> yeah I know uh, kind of true kind of true yeah no I, the question is which one should you get though yeah which one mm, for that mm -hmm. living room it's got to look good because you know you like it how low does it got to go right it. huh how low does it got to go as low as like, that as low as pole go bro well. At your age and with your Achilles issue, it probably don't need to go that low. <laughs> this is true. At my age, still probably don't need to go that low. Oh, the F-18 is sealed and smaller. Oh, oh. let's see. Two F-18 from Rhythmic. Ooh, I like that. What is there a, Ooh, is there a subwoofer there that's small enough where you could actually put it in multiple places? Because I think your issue in that room is that all the subs are in one place. You know, yeah. we can't, I mean, it's, it's totally it like, dude, I mean, like when Zach from dream media was here, he was totally blown away. He's like, Holy crap. He's like, this sounds like a home theater room. Mm. Yeah. So I, Hey, this, you know, what? an 18 inch. I mean, I like the idea of sealed. I don't need craziness. I had a PV PB 4,000 PB 4,000. Yeah. Ported. Mm. I think it was huge. Can you do in wall? <laughs> no that'd be outside yeah. <laughs> literally oh, really? like the wall is the, the, the outside man yeah uh Joe, oh, john is a prime so candidate says, all right so i oh that's not a bad idea snooze finally he so <laughs> finally yeah because finally. he loves his he loves his kit his kef hey. kf92s i've actually uh 
uh, scene where he has them laid out. We kind of like looked at some different sweeps in the Discord group that I got kicked out of because I'm <laughs> self promoting too much. You got kicked out of a Discord. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got you mentioned kicked that. Kicked out of a group, bro. How hilarious what is group that? Was it? Oh, you could tell me later. Uh, I don't know. Some garbage group. Garbage. Uh, I don't know. I got kicked um, off a uh, Reddit group, a home theater, because I was yeah, self promoting my stuff. That was like two years. Oh, you ago. did? I, like, I think it's the same group I, of dudes. Yeah. Honestly. Like, okay. All same right, dudes. Right. Y'all don't um, want any anyway, knowledge, and I'm able not, to drop it. It's one. no biggie. It's no biggie. I got kicked out of, and I thought it was funny, but um, no. The good thing is, like, I got to meet some of these, um, some some folks like Snoots, you know, and we'd always actually just be in this one channel where we'd all just be nerding out, doing DSP stuff. But those uh, KF92s are pretty small. And mm, I don't know if it's a pro or a con, but they do that dynamic thing where at lower volumes, they allow the sub to get really like low bass extension. Hmm. And then when you start turning it up, it, start, it, it limits that, of course. So I don't know if that's a great thing because it's, mm, it's kind of hard to, to EQ properly, you know? Because like at what mm -hmm. point do you EQ it? But I say oh, if yeah. you would just like say, all right, I'm gonna EQ down to 20, and whatever does below that, let it do whatever it's gonna do. I think that might work just because uh, they're small. They're pretty small. Mm. Mm. Some good, kind of expensive though, aren't they? Two thousand bucks a piece. What's that? Uh, I think he the got them on. He got a deal on them. Yeah, I, I just pulled them up on Crushfield, and it's two thousand bucks a piece. So they're like, dual opposing, right? Yeah, dual opposing nons. Yeah, surprising. Like I've seen the measurements on them. Like, are you sure? Are you sure they're correct? Like, yeah, 12, 12 hertz doesn't look correct. You know, but I guess it's that dynamic thing where at low volume it allows it to get that low. I like the interesting. Answers. If money's no object, get the jail stacked. <laughs> Fathom yeah, K. There you go. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. That's it. In the conversation right there. I said it earlier in the in the stream, I wouldn't spend ten thousand on on the speakers, but never said a subwoofer. <laughs> you know, oh. I uh I reviewed the Jumo C nine twelve last year mm -hmm. and I was it's or, Yamo. Not yeah. not oh, we're not doing that again. We're not doing that again. <laughs> I'm not even going there again. I will fight somebody. Um <laughs> I the J A M O 912, and I was impressed by it. So I kind of wonder if the 910 would be a good one to, to get if you bought a few of them, you know? It might do all right. It's still a 10, but... Mm. All right, I am looking at... You're not going to get... You're talking about for Chana? Yeah. Nah, if he's he... just looking for small and get a few of them. No, I want something that's going to go... go. You want something. Tunes, bro. You need some... some... At least below yeah. 20 hertz, a little bit below 20 hertz. You know what I mean? We need some. Oh, you don't serious. need it to be small. You don't need it to be small. I, I don't know. What, what's your situation, bro? Can you put them? Can you so, hide them somewhere? No, I can't. Then I can't hide shit. You're telling me if it's not a furniture. small box, you can't put it under some kind of table somewhere. No, I cannot. 100 cannot. I can't move my couch. Like Juan asked, said behind. No, it's not doable either. Um. Mm. Go to uh I mean oh, hold on. this this F this rhythmic is almost the same dimensions as the as the rel. So you know what? I just keep keep your rels and I'm just let's just DSP the crap out of them. Since they hate the you know people using DSP and all that, they're not for DSP. I just like uh, the fact that we DSP them and like extract all kinds of power from them. you know, all kinds of base extension using DSP. Well, I'm having an Cause... issue with the uh, with one of them. Oh, really? Is it that that noise thing? Yeah, that noise. It didn't go away. Uh, no, it doesn't go away. So not cool. Maybe it's too much DSP. <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe just the like couch. That. Get three subs. Build a seat to go on top of them. Instant base platform. I like the Speed Woofer Ten, Chris Windham. I like. How about the? Uh... The monolith, the dual subwoofers. You know what I'm talking about? Like oh, yeah. It's probably two, make with two tens. Probably not good looking enough for his living room. Oh, yeah. Right? See, the rails are nice. They have, like, glass on it. And it doesn't have, like, they do Funny thing. Everybody complains about the rail logos. But when the um, 
there's no logos on the grill at all. So you don't see anything. And then the like logo on the top, I don't see top. Well, we're gonna send a season to sister Joe. <laughs> we're getting we're like hey, let's get it let's get it down to 16 hertz. You know, let's I make, mean let's make Joe, what do you what do you think about this this uh this rhythmic here? Uh yeah. I'm biased, bro. I'm biased because I asked them like at the very beginning when I started reviewing stuff, I'm like, hey, I heard good stuff about your your subs, call them on the phone. They're like, nah, we're not interested. What is this? What does this look they like? They hurt my you, feelings. Aaron. My feelings they hurt, hurt feelings. Is this 10 Which hertz? Yeah, it looks like it. 10 hertz. What is this one? Is this 20? Where's 20? I don't I know. I guess that's 20. And then 100 is the next one? I can't tell. I mean, 100's over here. So Yeah, that's 100. Okay. 20, 40, yeah, 60. All right. I mean, it's a sealed enclosure. Is that the yeah. sealed one? This is the sealed one, yeah. Yeah. Looks all right. Let's go back to the overview. Because look, this is just it's just a straight up square box. Yeah. Simple, man. I'm you sure like they've it? got DSP in there too to boost up the, the low end. I mean, it looks pretty normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, look at what's their look at the, what's their return <laughs> period? Do they have returns? I mean, I know it's a pain in the butt to have to send it back, but if you didn't like it, you know. Oh, oh, C A twenty ten. Oh, so that's Audioholics. So they've tested it. So you can right, go to what the Audio Hawks there? page. No, never will do anything of the sort. You can do that. You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's James. James. No, no, the independent that. test lab site Data Dash Base has published the max distortion numbers of the F. Oh, interesting. Okay, so even better database then, because they've got a bunch of pickles. So I was actually going to say you should go to database's site and check. I don't think Look at these guys. Yeah. Chana, treat yourself. You will not send it back. I, Chana, I have a recommendation yourself. also. Oh yeah, what's that? Look up RSL. Oh, this is the one I, I have in for testing. RSL 12s. Oh, that's that big one. Take a look at that. This thing's big. What? I like it. I like. But how it. big is that 18 that you're looking at? I mean, I know it's sealed, but it's, it's uh, a uh, 21 by 21 by 21 by 21. Look at that little. Uh, Meter on the front. What the fuck is that about? I don't want to, I don't need to see that. <laughs> because, oh, it's my account. It's there. That's why Joe wants me. To... <laughs> Bro, there you go. The monolith. Uh, Richard said the monolith. All the monolith cabinets are huge. This yeah. is the twelve, dude. This yeah, is huge, bro. This one up here. Yeah, twenty-two, dude. I can get that rhythmic eighteen in here for that same size. Because this, you know, it's about a visual imprint or visual impact. I think is is one of the things that I worry about in my living room is visual yeah. impact. It's got to have like a low <laughs> visual impact. I think that thing is eight hundred bucks though. Oh damn! That twelve S dual yeah, about, eighty inch Ascendo. What about the tens? Are the mm, tens all right? Yeah, it could work. The ten S could work in his room. They're smaller. So. So they they didn't they didn't send you uh, a subwoofer to test out Joe, who didn't? Uh, rhythmic. Rhythmic. Yeah. Nah, they weren't they weren't interested. Oh. So I'm like, all right, can't be I'm your friend. Also now. not interested. I'm also not interested. <laughs> I guess yeah. I should not talk about your stuff. Why should I talk about a sub I don't know about? I have no idea about that sub. I've heard good things about them. I've heard about the servo, and that's it. I've never tested it because they weren't interested. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, this, I this looks you know, pretty. Looks like a washing machine. I'm not simple and it. yeah, yeah. 18 inch woofer. Oh, let's see. You could yeah. email them and say, "Hey, I was going to buy this, but my friend Joe said not to, so I'm not going to buy it." And I just yeah. wanted you to know. Yeah, tell them. I'll, tell them that you'll buy one when they send me one for review. Oh snap! No, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. Don't do it. Uh, nah. I've heard great things about them, and I believe all the people who say that they're good. I trust these people. You know, if if keeping up with the Joneses says that it's good, Rob E, you know, all these folks, if they say it's good, yeah, I trust them. Rob Ooh. Rob says, unfortunately, rhythmic and PSA don't send out subs for review, and neither do, does Shoe. I asked him oh, directly, really? and he's like, nah. 
I mean, I can get my hands on some like JTRs and all kinds of stuff. I can yeah. I can get some shit for free. Like that's yeah. not a problem. Um, right. But it's got to like they got to be right for like the situation. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And I'm and I'm totally for the folks who think I'm serious. Like I have five subwoofers like in my theater that are just like stacked for waiting for me to review. Yeah. He's got a whole I'm, lot. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I don't need any more subs. They're not interested, then totally cool with me. Yeah, uh, Snooze, I'm not a huge gloss gloss anything on any speakers because they do too much reflection in the living room. Mm. I hate yeah. that. But I did see the um, matte black or Mac oak or matte or the oak finish, so whatever. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Oh, if you're interested in joining us in the after show, you can visit patreon.com forward slash daily hi-fi. We'd love to hang out with you and get to know you better. We're going to have a lot of fun.